Today, we're turning the spotlight on a groundbreaking chapter in film history, the world of female-led exploitation cinema. These films bursting with style, action, and unapologetic flair, not only entertain, but also challenge and change the narrative around African-American women in the 1970s. Join us as we count down the top five female aid black exploitation films that captivated audiences, defied stereotypes, and left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Get ready for a journey filled with action, empowerment, and iconic moments that continue to inspire filmmakers and audiences alike to this day. Number five. First up, we have two classics starring the iconic Pam Grier, Coffee from 1973 and Foxy Brown from 1974, both directed by Jack Hill. These films are often mentioned together because of their similarities. In Coffee, Greer plays a nurse going undercover to dismantle a drug cartel, while in Foxy Brown, she's on a similar mission, but this time she's avenging her boyfriend. Greer's commanding presence and charisma makes these films unforgettable. A fun fact about the amazing Pam Greer is that she's had a brush in with death more than once. The first time Greer had a near-death experience as a child, she suffered from a severe case of tonsillitis and was pronounced dead in an emergency room before miraculously reviving. In the second time in 1988, when Greer was diagnosed with stage 4 cervical cancer and was given only 18 months to live, she defied the odds and survived, becoming an advocate for cancer awareness and prevention. Her battle with cancer and her journey to recovery is a testament to her strength and resilience. Number 4 Next, we have Cleopatra Jones from 1973, directed by Jack Starrett. This film is a black exploitation take on James Bond, featuring Tamara Dobson as a slick secret agent. Unlike other protagonists in the genre, Cleopatra Jones started off as a fearless agent, adding a unique twist to the typical black exploitation narrative. Fun fact Tamara Dobson holds the record for the tallest leading lady in a film. Moving on to TNT Jackson from 1974, directed by Sirio Santiago. This film blends martial arts with black exploitation, starring Jeannie Bell as a kung fu master seeking revenge in Hong Kong. While the film has its flaws, it's an important piece in the history of the genre. And one fun fact about Miss Jeannie Bell. In 1969, Jeannie Bell became one of the first African American women to appear in Playboy magazine. This appearance was groundbreaking at the time and helped to pave the way for more diverse representation in the magazine. Number two, our next pick is Sugar Hill from 1974, directed by Paul Malansky. This film adds a supernatural twist with Diana Sugar Hill, played by Marquis Bay. Using voodoo to avenge her boyfriend's death, it's a unique blend of horror and black exploitation that's definitely worth your time. Marquis Bay's acting career was relatively brief. She retired from acting in the early 1980s, choosing to lead a more private life away from the spotlight. This decision makes her film and television work from the 1970s particularly cherished by fans of the genre. Number one, last but not least, we have Darktown Strutters from 1975. Directed by William Whitney, this film is a wild ride from start to finish, mixing absurd humor with surrealism. It follows Serena, played by Trina Parks, as she investigates her mother's disappearance. It's a cult classic that stands out for its unique approach. Fun fact, Trina Parks made history with her role as Thumper in 1971's James Bond film, Diamonds of Forever. She was the first African-American woman to be featured as a Bond girl, breaking significant racial barriers in mainstream cinema. These five films showcase the diversity and creativity of female-led black exploitation cinema. They're not just entertaining, they're a crucial role with film history, highlighting the strength and resilience of African-American women. Thanks for joining us on the cinematic journey. Let's keep the conversation going in the comments below. Let us know what female-led black exploitation movie you love the best. Like, share, subscribe, and let's connect in the next video.